Hello my beautiful air sign. So I'm here doing a bonus reading for love for the month of May. I couldn't sleep. So what better to do than pull out my tarot cards and talk about love. So let's see what love is unfolding for you during the month of May. Spirit guide, guardian angel, divine energy, universal energy. What do you have for the air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for the month of May regarding love. What would you like for them to know? Pay attention to or be aware of at this time. Only allowing love, honesty, truth, and acceptance within the space above, so below. Okay, my beautiful air signs. Let's see. Mm, seven of cups confusion what are you confused about right maybe you have a lot of choices a lot of things going on in your mind and you're trying to figure out what is the truth right this could be just a whole bunch of mental hoopla really okay Wow, you're going for the gusto, huh, air sign? Okay, ace of cups on the bottom of the deck. Ooh, and the sun. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so um, let me pull all these out. Okay, so what I'm feeling right now, right now, is that there's an influential person in your life or someone that kind of you revolve around like the sun okay or someone you're super attracted to someone that seems like the be all end all okay you may have been confused trying to make a decision and it looks like you have made one okay um but maybe you don't know how to continue on like how to get to this person what to do next all that kind of stuff and your love is budding it's new with the ace of cups okay um, you have a lot of emotion towards this person and it's good, okay? So, um, in the past, I see the death card. The death card tells me that something was put to an end, okay? Um, maybe this was distance between you two, um, but it's whatever it is, it's something good because it ends it with the tower, meaning that you're building new foundations with this person. Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, bliss. You're very happy where you're going with this person. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so moving forward towards the middle of the week, I see that it's starting to settle down, meaning that it's starting to become real. <laughs> like the relationship is uh, starting to not be so everything is perfect to everything is normal, if you know what I'm saying. So I feel like you're ready to go the distance, though. OK, um, you may be a little bit confused or the other person may be confused if um, you're going to build those foundations or if you can do it. And it's all about how you perceive things, air sign. Right. That's what the Queen of Swords does. The Queen of Swords brings truth and honesty into a situation when there is a problem or when you feel like something is going to hit a plateau. That's when you need to put the work in. OK. And that's when you need to um, bring that happiness back in. What can you do to make the changes? It's, you know, you can't make somebody else do something. So what can you do, right? So moving forward, Ace of Coins talks about a commitment, maybe a change, a move, something like that, something tangible. You may be giving them something to show you how much you care. And this is going to create more of a balance within the relationship. Beautiful. Two of Coins. Okay, balance. Um, there may have been problems with distance. There may have been problems with prioritizing time with each other, things like that. And that is what you're going to try to rectify, right? I feel like moving forward, this is going to be an ongoing problem or something that nags at you, okay? Um, but I feel like you can overcome it with the right amount of communication and the right amount of reasoning. So I wouldn't worry about it too much, okay? <clears throat> Yeah, communication is what brought this relationship together, okay? Um, persistence, that thank you, Spirit. Persistence is what brought it about, okay? And now you feel like a, you felt like a winner, especially at the beginning of this month. Everything's going good. You're happy, Ten of Cups, blah, blah, blah. Everybody's holding hands, you know. <laughs> so, 
now you're putting in the real work now you're making investments moving in towards the middle of the month okay because things are starting to settle down and you're thinking about the future how is this going to react towards the future what do i need to do for the future okay you can perceive those things and make those changes um it's like you're starting to see it it's interesting because they're telling me like you're a different person and you're thinking about things differently and you're perceiving that there needs to be a change so you're going to go ahead and make that change change right 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 you're gonna make that change okay so moving forward there is some sort of offer it's something wow it's something you've been holding on in your mind okay and you're finally gonna come out and say it right you're finally going to express <clears throat> how you feel or this could be the other person this is alternative energy right so it could be the other person as well right you're like mm, I don't want to lose you or they don't want to lose you so I'm gonna do what it is that I need to do okay I'm a dreamer I can be a dreamer I can be unrealistic <laughs> so let's see what we're gonna do maybe about distance or time space between each other um getting married uh, moving into with each other buying something together things like that okay because i feel like you're trying to keep that balance right in the relationship all right okay so very interesting you may be dealing with a cancer scorpio or pisces or a um, taurus virgo or capricorn okay um it's interesting because you want more nurturing Okay, you have two queens, so you want more nurturing, you want more love, you want more kindness, you want more emotion, you want more physical stability, you know. These are the things that you're trying to nurture within the relationship because you feel like there's a problem with that. And you giving this offer or you making this change or them doing this to you is going to help rebuild that, right? So moving forward, like I said, it's going to be something that comes up over and over again, especially with the Six of Swords in reverse. But I feel like you can get through it. The Six of Swords doesn't mean it's going to be... Um, easy it doesn't mean it's going to end either it just means that it's going to take some time right it's going to take some effort and you're wanting to get out of a particular situation and make the changes you need to okay don't be afraid to express yourself with the page of swords here in reverse it's like you're holding on to your thoughts or your ideas okay because it's just too much to deal with or too much of a burden maybe right and i feel like you don't want to break up with this person or they don't want to break up with you so they're pushing to make those changes because you make them happy okay so let's pull some oracle cards love is all around you there is love everywhere all the time simply acknowledge this is the truth they're saying like the this person is with you all the time whether they're there physically or not or whether they're holding a ring giving you a ring or whether they're um, moving in with you or whatever um just because it's not happening doesn't mean that this person doesn't care for you that that's the main message that i'm getting here okay let go of control issues everything's not going to go your way everything's not going to be perfect um, everything's not going to happen right when you want it to. It happens in due time. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. This is a good one. For those of you this resonates with, this is a very good relationship. Give it a chance. Give it some time. I feel like you two connect in a very good way. Heart to heart conversations. Okay. They're giving me something. Okay. So air signs. This is a really, um, important time for you to start opening up the channels of conversation okay i don't know i feel like it's going to be hard um for you to do that like to listen and, and not try to overly reason the situation but it's like open up your heart listen to what they're saying understand what they're saying and try to come to a compromise that way okay so thank you for listening my beautiful souls i will see you later Bye bye